I give you a hand? Yes, that would be a great help. The bag is too heavy for me. Would you like me to take it to your office? If it's not too much trouble? No trouble at all. Let me carry that handbag, too. Thank you for offering, but I can manage. Here is a little something for you. Oh, thank you very much. It's a picture book of our hometown. It's a little token of my gratitude to you for your help these days. It's beautiful. Thank you so much. I hope you like it. My wife is thinking of selecting a scarf for you. It's very kind of her, but really, please, don't bother. You look wonderful today, Miss Wang. Well, thank you for saying so. I really like your coat. The color and design are so nice. I'm glad you like it. It's perfect on you. Really, it's one of the prettiest coats I've ever seen. Oh, you flatter me. I really like your cooking. The food is so delicious. Oh, you're just saying so. No, I mean it. I must say the food is super. It's very kind of you to say that. Miss Wang, I think you're one of the best cooks I've ever met. Oh, you flatter me. I need to apologize to you. May I ask why? I opened this letter. I thought it was mine. Don't worry, these things happen. I'm really sorry about that. Let's forget it. I hope you're not upset with me. Of course not. Miss Wang, you're half an hour late. I don't think so. It's 7.30. You said 7 o'clock, but don't worry about it. Really? Oh, I'm so sorry. It doesn't matter. I enjoy sitting here in the lobby. I must apologize. Please excuse me for coming late. Never mind. I'm planning on visiting. I'm planning to visit some places before I leave China. I'd like to hear your suggestions. If I were you, I would go to Xi'an. That's the best place to go. Xi'an? That sounds like a good idea. I also suggest you visit Beijing, Qingdao, and Guilin. But I only have a few days. What would you do in my situation? In that case, go to Xi'an in Beijing. Thank you for the suggestion. I'm thinking of buying some souvenirs for my relatives. What do you suggest? That's a difficult question. If you were in my shoes, what would you do? What about some Chinese silk? For ladies. That's not a bad idea. Why not some paper cuts? Great idea. There are many kinds of silk to choose from. What do you prefer? It's a difficult question. How about this? Compared with other designs, this seems much better. The price? It's much more expensive than others, too. 
Have a look at this. It's as beautiful as that one. I like this design better than that one. What do you think? The choice is yours. Could you do me a favor? Well, of course. Could I ask you to get a typewriter for me? I'd be glad to. I'll be grateful if you could get it today. I'll try my best. Thank you very much for the trouble. That's no trouble at all. Miss Wang, I hope you could do me a favor. Sure. What is it? I'm going to see a Chinese businessman. I'll be grateful if you could be our interpreter. Okay. When? I was wondering if you could help tomorrow afternoon. I'm afraid I can't get away in the afternoon. I wish I could. Hello, Peace Hotel? Yes, good morning. What can I do for you? I'd like to make a reservation. Single or double room? A double room, please. How much is a room for one night? Seventy dollars. How long will you be staying? We'll be staying for about two days. I want to book a room for Friday and Saturday. Very good, sir. A double room for Friday and Saturday. I booked a room here. My name is John Smith. Yes, we have room 203 reserved for you. A double room? Yes. Fill out this form, please. By the way, is there a dining room in the hotel? Yes, here's your key. If you want anything, just call the desk. Thank you. Have a nice stay here. What's the postage for a letter to Hong Kong? Do you want to send it by airmail? Yes, of course. That's 80 fen. Two 80 fen stamps, please. Oh, wait. I'd like to register the letters. That would be 2 yuan and 20 fen each. How long does it take from here to Hong Kong? It usually takes three days by airmail. I'd like to send this little box to New York. How would you like to send it? By parcel post? I know. I mean, by surface mail or air mail. By surface mail, please. Do you want it insured? Yes, I think so. Good morning. May I help you? Good morning. I'd like to open an account here. We have savings accounts and checking accounts in the bank. What's the difference? A checking account is more convenient, but you get more interest from your savings account. What's the interest rate for a savings account? It varies from time to time. It's 5% at present. Okay, savings account. Fill out this form and sign your name here. I'd like to withdraw $50 from my account. How would you like your money? Please give me four tens and two fives. Here you are, sir. Thank you. Please give me a hundred pounds worth of US dollars. 
What's the exchange rate today? Let me see. It's a hundred and fifty-six dollars for one hundred pounds. Excuse me. When can we board the plane? What's the flight number? C A flight three thirty four to New York. They say the plane is delayed by bad weather. Your flight will take off in twenty minutes. It will be boarding through gate eight. Thank you very much. Attention, please. C eight flight number three thirty four to New York is now boarding through gate number eight. Flight number three thirty four, can I check in? Yes. May I have your ticket and passport, please? Sure. Here you are. What do you check in? Just this suitcase. Yes, and I have one hand luggage too. Smoking or non-smoking? Non-smoking, please. Here are your ticket and your boarding card. Thanks. I'm sorry, I was late for work today. Yeah, what happened? I had a flat tire. Oh no, were you in traffic? No, I was on a side road. I rode my bike today. You ride your bike every day? Of course, don't you? No, I drive my car. Do you have a bicycle? I do, but I only ride it on the weekends. Who do you ride with? Everyone in my family has a bicycle. We ride together. That's really nice. Yes, it's fun, and it's good exercise too. Yes, I have a beautiful golden retriever. Who I consider to be a family member. How long have you had it? She has been in our family since she was a puppy. Goldie is seven years old this year. Why did you name her Goldie? Because she is golden and her fur is soft and golden. That makes sense. Is she an indoor dog or an outdoor dog? She stays with us in the house mostly. But she loves to chase birds outside. That must be fun for her, but scary for the birds outside. I don't think she would hurt a bird, but she likes to chase them. I've thought about getting a dog. Good idea. You'd love it. They are very entertaining. Is this your office? Yes. It's beautiful. How long have you been working here? I've been in this office for about three months. It looks brand new. It was built about a year ago. It's pretty new. Your old office was old, wasn't it? Yes, everything in that office was old. Even the electricity didn't work sometimes. That's terrible, but this office is so much better. Yes, I finally decided it would be a good idea to move. Well, I think it was a great idea. This office is fantastic. Hi, this place sells ice cream, right? Yes, we do. We have many different varieties of ice cream here. Excellent. So, what flavors of ice cream do you have? Anything new? We have all the basic flavors like chocolate and vanilla. We also have many new flavors. 
Do you have blackberry ice cream? No, we used to have it, but it was very popular, so we ran out. Oh man, I really like blackberry. How about coffee flavor? We have coffee flavor. How many scoops would you like? I'll take two scoops of coffee and one scoop of vanilla. Okay, that will be five dollars. Here you go. Thank you. Where did you grow up? You sound like you're not from around here. You're right, I grew up in the countryside. Did you live on a farm? Actually, yes, my family owns a farm in the countryside. Do you have any animals out there? Definitely, we have cows, chickens, and goats. What do you grow on the farm? We mainly grow corn, but we also have other plants. Do you grow apples? I love apples. Not really. We have one apple tree, but it doesn't grow very many apples. What about oranges? We have a lot of oranges. Maybe I'll bring you some next time I go back. Cool. How's the weather today? I think it's going to be cloudy. Oh no, is it going to rain? I wanted to go to the beach today. I don't think it will rain, but it won't be sunny. What does the weather forecast say? The weatherman said it would be cloudy today and sunny tomorrow. So if I go to the beach today, it'll be okay? Sure, but make sure you wear sunscreen. Yeah, I will. I got sunburned last time and it hurt for several days. Or just wait and go when the weather is a little better. I guess I can just go to the beach tomorrow. Maybe I'll go with you. So what did you do this past weekend? Well, I went to the beach with my friends on Saturday and Sunday. On Sunday, I just stayed at home and watched television. How was the beach? The beach was fun. We went swimming for hours and hours. Was it tiring? Yes, that's why I didn't really do anything on Sunday. Plus, I got a little sunburned. Yeah, I can tell your face is a little red. My back is also red, and it hurts a little bit, but it was worth it. You must really enjoy the beach. I do. Excuse me, do you know where Walnut Street is? Walnut Street? Hmm, I've never heard of Walnut Street. Are you sure it's not Maple Street? Yeah, this is my friend's house. He said his address is 25 Walnut Street. Well, I don't know where that street is. Have you tried using the map on your phone? Yes, every time I type the address up, it just says error. I think you should try 25 Maple Street. It's very close to here. Maybe I will. How do I get there? Just follow this road until you get to the intersection and make a left turn. It's the first street. You'll see it. Thanks. How do you like my painting? Nice, but who is supposed to be me? Am I that woman? No, you're tall, but she isn't tall. She's short. Okay, am I supposed to be that woman? No, her hair is black. But your hair isn't black. Your hair is brown. How was
was your family reunion? Well, we all had a good time. Did all of your cousins show up? No, cousin Charles couldn't make it. He had to fly off to France for work. But all my other cousins came. Great. Did you see your cousin Lisa? Yeah, she got married. Oh, what's her new husband like? He's very nice but quiet. They also have two kids. Oh, guess what? My grandparents came too. Really? I thought they weren't coming. That? That's actually me. Who's that? That's my father. And that's my mother. Is this your uncle? No, that's my grandfather. And those are my brothers and sister. These are my in laws. Wow, they look really young. I know. They're about 50. But they only look to be about 35 or 40. Who are they? These are their friends. They're from New York. Who's that? That is our next door neighbor, Sarah. She's cute. And what are you looking at? A picture from my family reunion. I just got it. Let me take a look. There you are. Who's that? It's my daughter. Who's this? It's my son. And that? She's my aunt. Who's this? That's my grandmother. <laughs> Did I show you my wife's family picture yet? No, I'd like to see it. Oh, there's your wife. But who's that? That is her father. And that's her mother. Is that her sister? Yes. This is her sister's boyfriend, Tony. He's quite tall. And that's Tony's brother. So, are these pictures from your vacation? Yup. Where was this taken? At Lake Tahoe. My cousins came with us. So, those are your cousins? They don't look like you. That's my uncle. They're his kids. Is that your aunt? No. So that must be your uncle's girlfriend? Who are they? They're my parents. How many kids do your parents have? Five altogether. Three boys and two girls. <laughs> up or we'll be late. Okay, okay. I'm hurrying up. Who's coming to our graduation? Our parents will be there. Of course, our parents are coming. What about our Uncle Eric? I'm not sure. What about our grandparents? Are they going to come? Of course, our grandparents are coming. Who else is coming? I think our cousin Anne will probably show up. Oh no, not her again. Now don't be that way. Today is a day of celebration. Can I see the pictures of your sister's wedding? Sure. So, that's your sister. What's her name? 
Linda. And that's her husband, Daniel. Who are they? Daniel's family. That's his father. That's his uncle. That's his aunt and his mother. Where were you? I just got my family pictures developed. Do you want to see them? Okay. That's my new baby brother. Who is that? She's my sister. Who's that? He's my brother. Who's that? He's my father. Who's that? She's my mother. Where was this picture taken? At a family reunion in 2014. These are my cousins, aunt, uncle, and grandparents. That must be your grandpa. It sure is. Do you know who this is? Is it your grandma? No, it's my aunt. Who do you think this is? It's your uncle? Right. Who are they? They're my cousins. Where's your grandma? You can't see her here because she's not facing the camera. Good morning. Is Eric there? This is Eric. Eric, this is Henry. What are you doing now? Henry, I'm sleeping. What time is it? It's 8 a.m. It's time to rise and shine. It's 8 a.m.? Oh, oh no. I'll be late for work. No, no, no. Today is Saturday. You do not have to work today. Oh, Saturday, that's right. No work today. How's it going? Hey, are you free today? Uh, today is Saturday. Yeah, I'm free. Would you like to do something together today? That sounds good. What do you want to do? I don't know. What do you want to do? I don't know either. Why don't you come to my house and I'll think of something. Okay. I'll be there in about an hour. Okay, see you later. See ya, Eric. Hello? Who is it? It's me, Henry. Hey, Henry, come on in. I've been waiting for you. How are you? I'm okay. I'm still a little bit sleepy. I haven't had my coffee yet. Hmm, I understand. Do you want something to drink? Do you have any fresh squeezed orange juice? No, I'm out of orange juice. Would you like some grape juice? Grape juice, hmm. That would be great. Oh, sorry. I'm out of grape juice, too. That's too bad. Have you had breakfast yet? No, have you? No, I haven't. Are you hungry? Yes, I am. Let's go out and get something to eat. Okay, that sounds good. My aunt has a breakfast shop near here. Great, let's go there. Okay, let's go. Do you have any hobbies? Yes, I have several. Really? Tell me more about your hobbies. I do like to collect things. Really? What do you like to collect? I like to collect stamps. Where do you collect stamps from? 
I collect stamps from all over the world. Why do you do that? Because I hope to have a stamp from every country. Why do you want all of those stamps? I think it's because I won't be able to go to those countries myself. What is another hobby of yours? I collect beer. Pardon me? Do you collect beer? Actually, I collect beer cans. Where did you get the cans from? From every place that I travel to. Do you drink beer? No, I don't like to drink beer. I see. What about you? What are your hobbies? I like to read a lot. Really? What do you read about? I like to read about bestsellers, and I like to read a lot about science too. What kind of science do you read about? Variety of topics, but I especially like to read about nature. Fascinating. Why do you like to read so much? I think it helps me exercise my brain. That's a good reason. If it doesn't make you too tired. Alex. Hey. Hey. This is my friend Bob. He's from England. Wait for me here. I'll be back soon. Okay. Sit down, please. What city in England do you come from? I come from London. Have you ever been there? No, I've never been. I hope to go some day. You can go if you have the true desire. Have you been here a long time? I've been here about seven years. How about you? I've been here all my life. Why have you stayed here for such a long time? I've stayed for many reasons. Are you married? Yes, I am. Is your wife beautiful? Would you like to see a picture of my wife? That would be nice. She is very lovely. Is she from around here? Thank you. Yes, she is from here. Do you have any children? No children yet, but certainly in the future. Where do you work? I work at the newspaper. The newspaper. What do you do there? I'm a reporter. Yes, no problem. Okay, thanks for calling. Goodbye. What time are we meeting the girls? Six thirty at Leicester Square. Are you ready to leave now? Yes, I am ready to leave now. Okay, let's go. Hello, Tim. Oh, hello, Layla. How are you? A little sleepy. This is my friend. His name is David. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. And this is my friend Anna. Hello. Nice to meet you. Have we met before? I don't think we've met before. No. You do look quite familiar. Do I? Yes. Maybe I've seen you at a party before. Yes. Maybe. <laughs> Shall we go inside and buy the tickets? Yes. Let's go inside.
Wow, that was an exciting movie, don't you think? Yes, it certainly was action-packed. Did you like the movie, Layla? Yes, I did. Did you like it, Tim? Oh, yes, I did very much. What was your favorite part, Layla? I liked the bit in the park. Why did you like that bit? Because everyone seemed very happy. Anna, did you think the acting was good? I thought the acting was very good. So, do you often go to see movies like this? Yes, I like action movies the most. Who's your favorite movie star? Hmm, my favorite star is Bruce Willis. What kind of movies do you like to watch, David? I like romantic comedies. Oh, and who's your favorite comedy star? Uh, I like Meg Ryan a lot. She's pretty funny, isn't she? Yeah, she's funny. Hello? Hello. Could I speak to Layla, please? She's in the shower. Can I ask who's calling? Uh, it's Tim. Oh, good morning, Tim. I'll get Layla and get back, okay? Okay, alright. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Hello? Hello? Is that Tim? Oh, hi, Layla. How are you feeling? I'm feeling much better, thank you. I really enjoyed myself last night. So did I. So, what are you doing today? I haven't decided yet. Would you like to go see another movie with me today? No, I don't think so. Would you like to go shopping with me today? I don't like shopping. What do you like to do? I was thinking I'll visit the museum today. Which museum? The Natural History Museum. Is it in Kensington? Yes, it is. Could I go to the museum with you today? Yeah, you can. Oh, great. Well, what time shall we meet there? Why don't we meet at the main door at 2 o'clock? Okay, I'll meet you at the main door at 2 p.m. Okay, I'll see you then. Goodbye, Tim. Okay, thanks a lot. Goodbye, Layla. Oh, that was really incredible. You really had a good time. Yes, I had a great time. Do you think you'll visit again? Maybe. Maybe I'll try another one next time. There aren't many places like this in Bangkok? No, the museums in Bangkok are much smaller. I had a lovely day. Thanks for seeing me. So did I. It was really good to see you again. I'd better go. Okay, I'll call you later. Okay, I'll wait for your call. Bye. Hi, Layla. You look busy. What are you doing? Oh, I am busy. Look at me, I'm typing an email, making a phone call. Hello? And planning my vacation. You're doing all that at the same time? Wow, you are good. Thanks. Where are you going? I'm thirsty. I'm going downstairs to get a drink. Would you like one? No, thanks. Somebody's phone is ringing. Oh, it's Mary's. She's not here. She's meeting with the customer. Uh, can you answer that? You're sitting closer to the phone. Hello? Hello, is this Mary? No, she's busy at the moment. I'm taking messages while she's out. Uh, this is Eric James. I'm calling from Switzerland. Could you have Mary call me back? Okay, I'll do that, Mr. James. How was your weekend getaway? 
It's great. We're having a wonderful time. What are you guys doing there? We're going golfing in the morning, swimming in the afternoon, and dancing at night. It sounds like you're relaxing a lot. Yes, we are enjoying ourselves. It's great. Okay, well, I have to go now. Take care. How is your son doing in Switzerland this summer? He called and told me he loves it. What is he doing there again? Oh, he's studying hotel management. Oh, that's right. He said he's climbing mountains on the weekends with his new friends. Oh, well, I'm glad he's having fun. Why don't you come over this weekend? We're having a barbecue. I would love to, but I'm so busy with work these days. I can't make it. What's going on at work? I'm busy preparing a report for my boss. I'm working every night until about midnight. And I'm also working on Saturdays. Are you working on Sundays? No, but I need to wash my clothes, shop, and do my housework on Sundays. Hey, Eric! Show me how to use the new coffee maker. Oh, well, it's just like the old one. First, scoop some ground coffee into the coffee filter. Got you? Second, pour some water into the coffee maker. Yeah, what do I do next? Third, press this switch to turn the coffee maker on. All right, then what? The water heats up, drips through the ground coffee and into the coffee pot. Hey, can you show me how to use this new microwave? Yeah. Well, first you have to put this in a microwave-safe container. We can't use this kind of dish in the microwave. Okay, now what? Open the microwave, put the food in. Close the door and set the timer for three minutes. Do I adjust this one? No, it's okay on medium. It's fine. That's it. Yup, just wait. It will be done in a few more minutes. How do you make Chinese tea? You're kidding me. You don't know how? No, I really don't. Well, first you boil some water. Right? Then what? While you're waiting for the water to boil, put some tea leaves into a teapot. Yes, and then? And then pour the boiling water into the teapot. Wait a few minutes before drinking. That's it? Yes, that's it. Can you explain to me how to cook rice? Do you have a rice cooker? No. Oh, I see. First, measure one cup of rice and pour it into a pot. Yeah? Second, you put some water into the pot and then pour it out to get rid of the dirt. Yeah, I got that. Third, measure out two cups of clean water and pour it into the pot. Okay, what's next? Fourth, put a lid on the pot, then heat up the water. Um, 
Fifth, turn down the flame after the water starts to boil. And that's it. Well, after you turn the flame low, you have to let the rice steam for about 15 minutes. Oh, thanks. Can you show me how to use this new CD player? Sure. Uh, to start, choose a CD that you like. I know. Then, push the open button. Okay. Then you put the disc into the tray. Yeah. Now close it. It's closed. Next, pick up the remote and punch in the song you want to listen to. After that, what do I do? Finally, sit down and relax. Okay, is that it? That's it. Easy, huh? Yeah, I'm just good talking to you too. Okay, I'll give you a call later. Yeah, talk to you later then. Okay, sure. Bye. Hey, is this your mobile phone? Yup, it sure is. Uh, do you mind if I borrow it for a moment? Sure, go ahead. How do you make it work? Well, first you have to unlock the keypad. Which buttons do I have to press? Press and hold the asterisk. Is this the asterisk? No, don't press that button. What do I do next? Go ahead and dial the number you want to call. And what's after that? After you're finished making the call, push the red button. Hey, is that a fax machine? Can I use it? Yes. How does it work? First, you have to have a message you want to fax. Okay. Don't put it in that way. Put it face up. Oh, okay. Do I push this button? Don't push that button. Dial the number you want to send a fax to. Then press the start button to send. What do I do when I'm finished? Nothing. Just keep or throw away your message. By the way, where did you send a fax to? Hong Kong. Hong Kong.